Fiddlehead season. Okay, I always get a lot of questions about fiddleheads, so today I'm going to show you exactly how I cook fiddleheads, which is basically how I par cook fiddleheads. Because when I cook them to eat, I'm basically just reheating them. You want to blanch these. I'm working with ostrich ferns here. You should only do this method I'm going to show you with ostrich ferns or lady ferns. Okay, I'm not going to talk about any of the other ferns. Take your ferns and wash them in cold water. This is going to help you just get that paper covering, that brown papery coating off of the ferns because you don't want to eat that. Depending on where you got your ferns and when, you may have to wash them a couple times. You can also, also wash them after they're blanched. Okay, next, why do we blanch fiddleheads? It makes them safe to eat. Some people will tell you that they eat fiddleheads raw or they've served them raw and just don't do that. People are going to get sick. If you eat fiddleheads raw, you're going to eventually get sick. This is just a fact, and it happens all the time. Uh, just cook your fiddleheads, please. Secondly, blanching ensures perfect cooking. If you cook fiddleheads from raw, you're going to overcook them. They're going to be oily. They're going to be stringy. They're going to be dried out. That's a really aggressive way of cooking them. Blanching is the best way to cook these, and this is true with a lot of different vegetables. So... It makes them taste good, makes them taste the best that they can be. It also makes sure that nobody's going to get an upset stomach. So another thing is that people often don't blanch their fiddleheads in enough water, or the water is not at a rolling boil. Or maybe it was at a rolling boil, but then they put the fiddleheads in, and then it doesn't boil for the entire time that they're cooking them. So if you undercook the fiddleheads, you can have them change color and dis and oxidize, and that's not good. You can see I set a timer there for two minutes. A minute and a half to two minutes at a rapid boil, as I'm showing you here. Note that my lid helps the pan boil faster. A rapid boil for a minute and a half or two minutes is plenty of time. This is completely ample time for cooking fiddleheads, okay? But it's at a rolling boil. If the pot isn't boiling, it's not cooking at the same speed. So take that into account. There's something important to notice. And I do not blanch my fiddle, or I don't shock my fiddleheads. You can see I take them out and I just let them cool naturally on a tray. So if you have a lot of the brown paper coating, paper coating still on the ferns, you can wash them off after they cool, but don't do it now. If you shock them in ice water, this is what can happen. You can have the ferns oxidize and you don't want to eat those. Same thing happens with potatoes. So don't shock them in ice water. Next, I don't like wormy long things on plates. So I always trim the fiddlehead stems to an even length. And from here, they're really good in a salad um, or just sauteed up, you know, eaten as a vegetable, tossed with some pasta. They're fantastic. These are one of the greatest you know, wild spring vegetables that we have. So just cut the stems into evenly sized pieces and eat the stems too. Some people throw the stems away. That's great. A salad is a really good thing you can do with fiddleheads. Uh, I have another video for that. There's also the recipe on my website. But yeah, I hope you learned a couple things about fiddleheads. And if you haven't tried them this way, uh, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.